Welcome to a very special episode of Talk Exchange. Apollo Multimedia Group is the producer of this show, and we were able to attend the Exchange Club convention in San Antonio, and boy, did we have fun. In addition to meeting a lot of Exchange members, we also had a booth in the Exhibitors Hall where members could talk all about their club as part of this episode. So for each member you're about to listen to, we ask their name, what club they're from, and what great things their club is doing in the name of Exchange. And we follow that up with their thoughts on this year's convention. So we hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we can't wait to see you again next week. I'm Angie Stafford. I'm president of the Swift Creek Township uh, Exchange Club in outside of uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And one of my favorite projects that we do each year is at Christmas time, we put together fruit baskets and take them to about 100 senior citizens. The best part of the project is simply getting to spend time and talking with some of our, our senior citizens. They look forward to it each year, and it's, re it's not putting the, the fruit together, it's that going and delivering and spending time with people is really a neat way of connecting with people. Some other things our club does is about three to four times a year, we do adopt a highway where we go out and clean up a two mile stretch of road. And then when they come back, I've prepared a nice big breakfast for them and we have a great time of fellowship. So that's one way that we're very visible in our community. Other things we're doing is we work with other uh, clubs in Wake County to sell peanuts at the state fair as a fundraiser. And we also uh, work with those other clubs um, to put on a field of honor, which is very special to me because we honor our community heroes, both those who have gone before us and those who are still among us. So that's a, that's a really big project, but it's one that's near and dear to our hearts. Okay. I am enjoying it. The last convention I attended was as I went along with my husband. I was not a member then, and that was probably 20 years ago. So this is my first real convention. I am learning so much. Meeting with people that I've seen before, meeting new people, it's really been very eye-opening and is really sort of re-motivating me to go back and really strengthen our club. Meeting people and talking with people and getting new ideas. Uh, I do have one thing that I'm passionate about, and that is our Freedom Shrine. Um, I think that's really important that we have Freedom Shrines in schools. As a, a retired fifth grade teacher, I used our Freedom Shrine often. So that is one thing that's very passionate for me, is making sure that we are putting up Freedom Shrines. Absolutely. My name is Annette Duncan, and I am a proud member of the Moonlighters Exchange Club of Owatonna, Minnesota. And we, just after 13 years, erected the Veterans Memorial in Owatonna, um, which phase one. Um, so we are going to be working on phase two, which incorporates statues um, into our monuments, and then um, phase three to be determined. But super excited. That's what that club was formed for. And so we're continuing to work on that as our Americanism project and of course we support our local center as well youth projects and community service convention has been phenomenal it's great to see friends from across the United States that we haven't seen since last year it's great to exchange ideas and um, just figure out how we can work together to build our communities thank you have a great day my name is Brian Tyler Leonard. I'm with the Exchange Club of Vero Beach. I'm here today to speak about uh, club collaboration within your districts. Um, it's important to support each other's fundraisers. It's important to share ideas, communicate, travel to the other club's meetings, to stop in and say hi and support each other and, and share our efforts. And that's a very key thing to help keep clubs moving along nicely and growing. We've got some great fundraisers that we work on. Uh, we collaborate in our uh, immediate area. We've got three clubs that we have collaborative meetings on. We meet once a month or once every quarter uh, just to share ideas and how we can all work together and help each other. Um, we've got a great fundraiser coming up in August, the Sangarita Challenge, uh, which is our third year doing it, and each year we grow it. And we get club support from our other clubs in our local area as well, so that, that, that's a benefit. Cross promotion. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. And the weather's cooperating. It's not hot like Phoenix last year, so thumbs up. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Cliff Kiernan. 
I'm a member of the Naugatuck Exchange Club. I was invited by a friend in 1981 to join. His name was Bob Kiernan. No relation to me. My name is Cliff Kiernan. And uh, it's now been over 43 years that I've been a member of the Naugatuck Exchange Club. Uh, this past year has been a very special year for our club as we celebrated our 75th uh, anniversary of our Charter Day. Our club was chartered on July 21st, 1948, with, nine, with uh, 90 members. Uh, and uh, it did really great things back in, the, uh, uh, back in the late 40s, early 50s, and continues to do great things for the community to this day. Uh, as of right now, between our club and our foundation, uh, we give out over uh, $20,000 in, uh, in gifts to our community, either in scholarships for our youth or to uh, our food bank or to our United Way. Uh, we sponsor Little League. We sponsor uh, Little Pal basketball teams. Uh, so uh, we do a lot of great things. I'm very proud of what we do. But I'm also proud of other people who belong to other organizations because anybody who can give back to their community, they're all doing a great thing. So I'm just very proud to be a member of this club. Uh, I've, I've been able in all the years to hold many positions, not only on the local level, but also on the district level as I served as uh, Connecticut district president twice. And I also served on the uh, National Exchange Club Board from 2006 to 2010 as, uh, in a, as vice president, a district vice president for Region 12. So, uh, that, was, so that was a great time. I got, my wife and I, in all the years uh, in exchange, we met great people. We love coming to uh, the national convention. The uh, national convention is a, a great learning experience. You meet great people. And my wife and I have made friends over the last uh, 28 years at our going to national convention all over the United States and Puerto Rico. So just proud and glad and happy for all exchange does for our communities. My name is Fussell Hughes. I'm with two clubs in, in Georgia. I'm with the Exchange Club of Albany, Georgia, which has about 145 members. And I'm also a member of the newly built Exchange Club of Lee County, Georgia, which has uh, approximately 32 members. Uh, the two clubs are very different. They, uh, the, the older Albany Club is really established. They have a fair every year. They have uh, good things going on for the community. They give a lot to uh, open arms and those type of uh, uh, people. The, the new Lee County Club is, is just getting on its feet. It's about a year and a half old. Uh, we have a new president uh, this year, right now, and she has taken over, and she's hitting the ground running. And, and we think we're going to have some good fundraisers. We have a different uh, group of people, uh, a younger group, and more dedicated in the Lee County area. So we're looking for great things out of both of those clubs in the Georgia area. And I'm also a, a regional vice president for Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. So I get to visit all of those clubs, and it's really rewarding. This year's convention is wonderful. Uh, me and my wife drove out to uh, San Antonio with my granddaughter, which is 12 years old. This is her first convention. She's enjoyed the heck out of it. And we are, we are just impressed and with the programs and the services that exchange offers and uh, hope we can take advantage of more of them as we go. I'm Gloria Dunaway Harlett. I'm the president of the Indiana District Exchange Clubs. I'm here to brag a little bit about my district. There are several awards throughout the United States that we give and offer. Uh, one of them is the um, Book of Golden Deeds within our clubs. The Book of Golden Deeds was started in Huntington, Indiana. So it became a great thing there and the National Exchange Clubs took that on as a, a, another opportunity to award someone for doing great deeds in their community. And volunteerism is always an important part. Also in the state of Indiana, 
the Proudly We Hail was started by the Portage Club in Indiana, and now it is a nationwide award, one that we're very proud to give in our communities for businesses that fly our flag appropriately, lit at night, and not tattered or torn, and is displayed at half mass when required to. So that's one that Indiana District started, two that Indiana District started. Also, we don't want to forget the day in court. That is a national uh, event as well now because our Michigan City Club began the day in court. And it's a training session, one of learning for youth. I'm excited because we have had a National Youth of the of the Year Award winner last year. Uh, our Indiana District th this morning just received a Distinguished District Award and also the Distinguished President District of the Award, which was given to Paula Bivens, our uh, president, immediate past president. So we're excited, we're growing, there's enthusiasm. We have built a new club. We have six on the horizon for this next year. Um, I have encouraged all of our club, all of our club presidents, to grow by one member a month, so that by the end of the year they'll have 12 new members. So we're excited about Indiana and what Indiana is doing for exchange, in making our communities a better place to live, making it a place that we are proud of our Americanism, and a place where we can help our community to grow in doing great things for others. Convention's great. I've really enjoyed the speakers so far. Uh, this morning, I was so appreciative of all that Tracy shared, uh, of her candor, of the way she shared with us. She's such a positive person, and she does things with such professionalism and makes me proud to work under a CEO like that. Uh, even though we're all a part of the same team, she just makes me very proud. And so that was great. Just the award ceremony, the fun we had together, all very good. I enjoy my family across the United States. And I'm a wrangler. I'm a Rycheck wrangler. <laughs> well, my name is Judy Hartman. I'm from the Lake Tansy uh, Exchange Club of Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, I've been with um, Exchange since 2013. Uh, just recently, we in the past couple of months, we've done a, a golf tournament and brought in oh, close to $14,000. Uh, Fourth of July, we did a chicken barbecue and we brought in about $6,400 there. And today I just was... Um, by non-contesting, I am now the new regional vice president for Region 6, and so um, it's been a five-year plan for me, and um, others have tried to talk me into it earlier, but I knew what my level was. I'm a busy person, and I had a lot of irons in the fires, so I've removed those irons one by one to make room for Exchange Club now for this position explicitly. And I look forward to serving with other board members and the staff. Uh, I'm really excited. I, uh, this is my sixth convention. I missed last year uh, due to circumstances that were beyond my control. And I'm very happy here, and I can't wait to um, do a little sightseeing. I've been busy consuming myself with all the events that have been taking place and everything. Uh, tonight we have our class dinner and a little free time. Hopefully we'll get to take a boat ride. And uh, tomorrow I hope to take in the, um, the Alamo and uh, a little sightseeing of um, the Alamo. We fly out Sunday, Sunday at noon, so got some time. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Kara Wright. I'm Region 11 Vice President, National Exchange, and I'm also a member of a newly chartered club. It's called the Exchange Club of Spring Grove in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. We started meeting in Spring Grove at a little Italian restaurant. We outgrew that one, moved over to another Italian restaurant, and they were so kind to us, so accommodating. They were excited about what exchange stood for, and they wanted it to happen in their community. You know, we started off with first 
having JCs, you know, because they age out at age 41. So we're like, oh, I have a lot of friends that we've helped, had partnered with, and um, in a neighboring town that I'm a member of, Exchange Club of Hanover. And then it sort of changed over a two-month period. Um, and then by the third month, people wanted to sign up. Let's get registered and let's form a club. We chartered January 31st, uh, um, and we had 19 members. Now we're up to 24, and a lot of them are people that I've known from past things I've done um, with the JCs are with Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts and we've continued partnering with many organizations in that town. Our grandson Luke, he's 13 and he is one of the chartered members. Uh, my son Clint Wright, he the, was the Mid-Atlantic District President and he was also a club builder with this club. So it was a family thing and we had Anne Marie um, and she's our VFR, our volunteer field rep and she she, she helped lead us and keep us straight, make sure our paperwork was done correctly. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful way to communicate with our community, get involved. We had the mayor, we interviewed people, we interviewed the chief of police, the regional police, to get an idea of what Spring Grove really needed. And I, that's what we want to do and continue to do to fill that spot. Well, um, we love San Antonio, and we were happy that they chose this location. But what was really cool is that my son and his newly wedded wife, they just got married in May, Memorial Day, they attended. And my grandson, our grandson, Luke McLucas, he's 13, and this is his first convention. And so the family and my husband's here as well. But I think the coolest part about this one, and you heard them today say we have 100 new people that have never attended a convention that are here. That is That to me just explodes excitement and creates an idea of, oh my gosh, people are excited about wanting to be here because you have an opportunity to meet so many wonderful people. Not only they show you what you can do in your community, but empower yourself. And now there's not a single person here that's not wanting to lift you up and help you get to where you want to do in your community. Hello, I'm Kenny Sweeney. I'm the district president for uh, Florida. I'm a member of the Harbor Exchange Club and the Mid Pinellas Exchange Clubs. We, we in Florida have a lot of good things going on and we hope to do even better this year. We invite folks from all over the country to come down to Florida and check us out. A lot of you are moving there, which is a good thing, and make sure you connect with us to, to join a local club. I think it's it's great. I've been to San Antonio a number of times on business, but I, I, I think it's a great town. I think the uh, the people are very hospitable. Uh, the facilities have been great, uh, so glad to be here. Um, we need to grow. We need to grow our clubs, our districts, and, and the whole organization. My name is Kevin Barker, and I'm with the Exchange Club of Sugarland. And we have two great projects that we love doing every year. One is our fundraiser, which is the Spaghetti Dinner. It's a family-oriented event, and we bring the whole community in, and it helps us to sponsor all of our nonprofits in our community, um, and especially our child abuse prevention projects. And then this year, we, uh, our Healing Fields project, we actually call it a Field of Honor. And we, are, we did a 1,000 flags last year and set them up in our Sugarland City to honor our veterans and first responders. And we had ceremonies for each one of those classes. Um, and it was very moving and uh, certainly something that we really want to do continuing from now on. So, man, convention is great because you're in Texas. We love Texas and we have great Texas hospitality. Uh, San Antonio is a perfect venue and we hope everybody's enjoying it as much as we are hosting, so thank you. Hi, my name is Lavetta Jefferson. I'm with the Exchange Club in Tifton, Georgia. We're very active in the community with volunteering and we um, participate in the Rhythm for Ribs and fundraising for our national project as well as Bids for Kids. So come join us anytime. We'd love to have you. We meet every Monday at 12 noon at the Salvation Army's conference room. Oh, it's awesome. Yes, I'm a first timer and the people are great. Everybody's very welcoming and exposure, networking, 
exchanging ideas, new information. Yes, it's great. My name is Linda Carlson. I'm with the Exchange Club of Santa Rosa, California. One of the things that we started about five years ago is a program called Wreaths Across America. And what we do is to pre-sell holiday wreaths that we lay on the graves of veterans at our cemetery. Um, what's great about it for us is also a fundraiser as well as getting the exposure of exchange out into our community. So uh, we sell the wreaths for $17 a piece and the club receives $5 back that we can then use for projects or donations to um, nonprofits and that type of thing. So last year we were able to pre purchase 3,200 wreaths that we were, uh, had a number, well, I would say maybe 150 volunteers that came out the day that we were laying, laying them down. We do have a small program ahead of time, and then we ask that the volunteers don't just try to get out the wreaths out as quickly as possible. But they really take the time to honor those that uh, they're laying the wreath on, the veteran they're laying uh, the wreath on. And so we ask them to say their name and thank them for their service privately and then lay the wreath down with a lot of respect. And then in January, we have a smaller group because it's not as much fun to pick them up as it is to lay them down. But we go back in January and pick them all up and so that the cemetery doesn't have to dispose of that. So um, it's a great project. I, I really suggest any other exchange club doing it because it not only does it give you exposure in your community, but it also gives you a, a good fundraiser. Thank you. You know, I we we have been coming to uh, the conventions for over 30 years, my husband and I. And the main reason that we come is because all the friendships that we have made over all those years across the country, <clears throat> including in Puerto Rico. And we want to renew those friendships and say hello and see the people and find out. One of the things that we like to do is to sit at a table that's not our club or our district and get to talk with the people who, you know, what are, what are you doing? What projects are you doing? What fundraisers are you doing? What, how are you known in the community? How are you going about getting new members? Those types of things so we can use each time we go into a, a session to find out how we can improve our club. No, I think that's it, but um, if you want to buy a wreath, let me know. <laughs> Exchange Club of Santa Rosa. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Forster. I am with the Exchange Club of Mid Pinellas and the Northeast Exchange Club of St. Petersburg, both in Pinellas County, Florida. I'm also the district director for that region, division. With the Mid Pinellas Club, we have we did, have done a chili cook-off for two years now. We just had our second one um, during right after Super Bowl. Um, and it's just a, we get about a dozen chili cookers and sell tickets, and it's just a great time. Um, and raising money for prevention, uh, child abuse prevention programs. Um, upcoming with the clubs, we have a all four clubs in Pinellas County do a bullathon that's coming up in August, and the uh, Northeast Exchange Club will have a charity concert in September, and the Berg Exchange Club was doing a wind down in October. So a lot, a lot of exciting things coming up. I love it. Um, this is my third convention. And I only been a member for less than three years, so it's um, I, I'm, you know, you have to attend a convention, and once you're once you attend your first, you're in, you, you know, it's so every time I come, I get more energized and ready to get back. My name is Michael Gaston. I'm from the South Carolina. I am the current president elect going into the district, and um, the club that I founded is the Tri County Exchange Club. It's in the Exchange Club, I've been since 2004, over 20 years right now. And some of the great things that we are doing that a lot of them have never done before, we are focused more on the teenagers, to help the teenagers. We started in, uh, when I was in Texas from the Lake Highlands Exchange Club. We started the first team job fair, the first team job fair. And we took that model when I moved to Charleston, South Carolina, and implemented the team job fair there. And now that the state loved that model because it focused on the teens, 
and how to help them to get jobs and also for careers in the future. They use that model statewide. The second thing we do that's really exciting is that fundraise. One of the things that we're doing different is for Project Zero, we have a pickleball fundraise every year. And that is taken off like wildfire, pickleball. And because uh, it's the greatest craze is going on through the country. And it's the next thing, you know, besides golf and everything else they've been doing in the past, something new that anybody can do as far as the family can be, you know, participant on this. And, you know, we're doing many things to focus on the exchange club. And one thing that I implement to the national is our core values. I call it the FCC. FCC, so if anybody asks you what the exchange club stands for, we say family, community, and country. Service club. We service, we service the community. And one thing I tell other clubs, I suggest to other clubs, is talk about the service of the community that you're in. Because each club is unique. Each club is unique. And you want to focus in the uniqueness in your community. Because if you do something that's different, that's not existing in your community, your club's gonna die. So the biggest thing is to get your members all engaged or something they're doing already. So if I'm like to do finance, if my background is finance, and you want me to become a club member, keep them in the finance. If a person is like to serve, keep them in that, so their interest would never, they would never lose interest. And there never be a conflict, because many people tell me they just volunteer, this is not a job. So you make it so that they do every day. It's something they do every day, they enjoy being a member. So those are the things I like to share and pass on to everybody else. Thank you. Convention is just like the weather. Every year is a different, it's different. It's a different season. This is a season that's in San Antonio last year was in Phoenix. So that season was the folks, like I said, about the community of Phoenix. One thing we need to do is more, wherever we have the convention, get a better heads up of what the community need. Heads up. So when we come there, we come there to work not to come there to sit back and be spectators. There's a difference in spectators. It's like watching the, uh, the Super Bowl. A lot of individuals say, that's my team. That's a, they have all the advice, but they're not a player. They're a spectator, and a spectator doesn't have the buy-in. So when a convention, like we're gonna do Louisville next year, we should already, what do Louisville need when we get there so we can help in a service club than just one they serving us and us for their establishment. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Patsy Stills, and I'm with the Mid Pinellas Exchange Club in Florida. And actually I joined the exchange in 2018, and then I started helping with, the, with our current club. We're just two years old. We are in our third year. I was president last year, and now we are just trying to build our fundraisers and really get our groove as far as who we want to help in the community. And we've already raised money. I don't know the amount right now, but we've already raised a bunch of money for child abuse prevention and also for veterans. So this coming year, we're looking to get more involved with all the youth on the youth side of things and do some awards and, and get involved there. Uh, you know, it's amazing. I'm, I didn't know how many people to expect. And it's nice to see a room full of people there and every, every seat filled. Uh, so, you know, so far so good. The training so far has been great. Went to the child abuse prevention piece of that because our center, I work for a nonprofit also, Ready for Life, and we are a center that helps youth aging out of foster care. And we just became a CAP center with National Exchange. And so just getting all the information that we need to really expand our services is gonna make a big difference for our local community. Richard Flicker, the Exchange Club of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I've been a member of Exchange for 48 years. Our club in Baton Rouge, uh, we are a small club with a big heart, and we're family. That is what makes us different from many clubs. We are family. We celebrate good times together, and when sad times occur, when uh, members pass away, we are a family. We don't all agree on everything, but we do agree on unity for service. Uh, our signature project is Adopt a Teacher, and in 28 years, we have given grants to 622 new elementary school teachers in the East Baton Rouge Parish school system, 
totaling over a quarter of a million dollars. And so for a small club, that's a lot of money, but uh, thankfully we have a lot of wonderful corporate sponsors and individual sponsors. Well, I try to come every year. I missed a couple of years, but um, I think it's just so well organized. The speakers are incredible, inspirational, their stories, especially the ones, you know, who are victims of child abuse, uh, sex trafficking. Uh, but it's an opportunity. I try not to sit with the folks from my district uh, too many times. I want to see the people from my district, but I want to meet people from all over the country and and get to know them. And then the following year, I'll have new friends that I can sit with. But uh, everybody is in this for good reasons. I don't think they're giving out awards right now to individuals, to clubs, but I think exchangeites do what they do because it's in their heart uh, to volunteer and make their communities a better place for all of the citizens. Uh, first of all, my name is Ron Garriga. I'm from the Emerald Coast Exchange Club in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. I've been a member of Exchange since 2008. I had not heard of the Exchange Club or knew anything about the Exchange Club until we got a letter from my daughter's school saying that she had been selected as an Exchange Club Youth of the Month. So we went to one of the meetings and during that meeting, they read something called their covenant of service. And when my wife and I read that covenant of service, we knew that we had possibly found home for another civic organization for us to be a part of. It just instilled in us everything that we stood for as a family and how we wanted to raise our daughter. So with that, we let Shelby, our daughter named Shelby went through the competition process and after her winning at state as the youth of the year, they were so kind to us at the convention that we even knew then that we also found home in another organization. But my wife said to me at that time, you cannot get involved in anything else unless you leave something else. So I prayed about it and I thought about what I wanted to do and I went back home and I literally removed myself from the roster of two other organizations to give me time to learn about exchange and see where I saw my fit. And in that fit, I learned about their program of service, which I'd already heard of for the prevention of child abuse. In 2002, Brad, my family, I went on, let me back up. I went on a mission trip with my church and on that mission trip, I became very fond of two young orphan boys and they made a huge impact on my life. I was there for 10 days and on those 10 days, I, my heart was just full of making sure they were fed and they lived from pillow to post. They had no home. They were dirty. They had lice. They had worn clothing and it was placed upon my heart to do what I could while I was there to touch their lives. And upon my leaving, and they followed my bus as I was leaving, hollering, Papa Ron, Papa Ron, Papa Ron. I came home telling my family I wanted to do something to make a difference. To my surprise, Brad, while I was gone, there was a guest speaker at our local home church speaking to them about being foster parents. The same weekend that I was away with this calling of being touched by these two young boys' lives. So we talked about it as a family and we, we, we got licensed to be foster parents. So again, connection with Exchange Club was just pulling out our heartstrings and so we became very involved in Exchange Club with supporting the program of service for the prevention of child abuse. So our club truly does support that program of service and other programs of service. So when you ask me, you know, Ron, tell me a bit about your club's activities and the events that they do. Well, we support all programs of service from child abuse protection to Americanism, community service, and the scholarships for youth also have a special 
meaning to me as an educator. So all those things connected the dots as to why I should be an exchangeite. It's the perfect organization for our values and how we want to live our life. So we became foster parents. We did that for nine years. And then we did respite emergency care for three years. So now we're grandma and grandpa to all those children who are now having children and we still keep in touch with them. So our lives have been blessed with only having one biological child, but many children that we took into our home to be a part of their lives, but the blessing was for us. I hope we changed their lives, but they certainly did change ours. Well, come, all right, first of all, when I left, my wife could not come with me this time, but when I left, my wife said, honey, I want you to go, relax, enjoy, these are our people, and they, they're our people. We are of like-mindedness. We have the same passion for the programs of service. So when I say I'm around people that are like me, I truly mean I'm around people that are like me and, and like my wife. We are, we're a team. We do everything together. And if one says they're not ready for it, we do not do it. But if we both say we're ready for it and they're pa one's passionate about it, we do it. And we were so blessed, Brad, that we had a daughter who helped us be a great foster sister. I mean, there were some children that we took, back to my, our, my story, that would have nothing to me as a man or to Robin as the, the mother figure, but related to our daughter. So she was the one who gave them the baths. She was the one that would put them to bed because they were frightened. They were, they were scared. But exchange, to answer your question about convention and our experiences, um, being around these people motivate me, motivate me every time I'm around them. And there's so many areas of being involved with the exchange from the local level to the district level to the national level. And Brad, in 2015-16, I was elected district president for the state of Florida one of the most rewarding experiences of my life where I got to travel the state of Florida and be with all the exchangeites and their clubs and witness what they were doing in the state. And I was used as that liaison, that, that ambassador to connect the dots and, and share with others what other clubs were doing, as well as have an amazing time. You know, exchangeites do like to have fun. I tell people my favorite F word is fun. So, the convention is fun. We rekindle relationships that we've had over the years, and we make new connections. Every time I come, I meet new people. Okay, my name is Ron Chandra with the Erie Niagara Sunrise Exchange Club outside of Buffalo, New York. And our uh, club has been uh, growing. We have almost 50 members. And one of the greatest things we do is uh, donate money. Uh, once a year, we bring 25 organizations and to one event and we donate between twenty and thirty thousand dollars each and every year. Well my name is Tom Carnes. I've been a member of Exchange now for 25 years this year. Uh, it has been the event that has changed my life for that 25 years. Make me a different person. I was in law enforcement and I found that this was a way to give back for the things that I have been given in, in through the, the through Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park Exchange is unique in all of Exchange because for every year that there has been a city of Lincoln Park, Michigan, there has been an exchange club into it. Both of us will be celebrating our 100th year anniversary next year. Um, stop by and see us. We are known for Lincoln Park Days, which is a three-day festival in which all of the nonprofits get together and do their annual fundraiser. So Lincoln Park, Michigan, come by and see us. Thank you. Well, as I said, we're at uh, the 100-year milestone. I am president going in this year. I've been president before. I was national president in 2014 and 15. And we're coming in to, when you come to the conventions, as we've been in this convention today, it inspires you to do more, to think that you can do things better. And as you're looking at the people that got the big E, which is a sign of um, excellence, in, in exchange. And so that is going to be our goal.
is to build a new club. Um, I'm also a substitute teacher at the Lincoln Park High School for the past 10 years. And our Freedom Shrine there has um, been there since 1964 and is in need of some updating. So we're going to take time and make sure that gets redone as well. As far as making sure that we have the power, the amount of people, members to carry on for our next hundred years. Because we do not want to see the City of Lincoln Park without an exchange club. And so our goal is to make us stronger for the good things that, that we do. Because if you look at all the communities in, in the world or in the, in the United States, all of them are better by having an exchange club in them. For all the things that they do, all the projects that they have done, it makes it, we make it a better country. So that's why it's so important to build new clubs and to celebrate the ones that we have and to make sure that they keep going. Sure, uh, my name is Victor Alejandro. I'm with the Exchange Club of Scotts Valley, California. Scotts Valley, California is right near the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay and San Jose. We're closer to the coast by Santa Cruz. So if you go over the hill, Santa Cruz is in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Um, Scotts Valley, California, uh, has seen an exchange club presence for over 50 years as of 2019. So I'm uh, the president of the Exchange Club of Scotts Valley and uh, we have a membership of about 15 people. Um, I joined during COVID. So a lot of us, uh, you know, I thought it was an interesting opportunity that I, I was really not expecting but embraced it uh, entirely. And uh, we are supported in our community by a lot of folks. Uh, individuals and also leaders. We have ex-mayor, city council, chief of police, fire board, and you know we've got some new members too. Uh, some of the existing members brought in some friends. We met some other people at uh, Earth Day that were interesting. And so at first I thought it would be challenging because during COVID not a lot of people wanted to meet. But we carried on and uh, we're standing strong as of today. We have uh, a lot of events but some highlights. There's three. One is the 4th of July parade. We've been doing it for many years, and so uh, we decorate a truck. We had some grandkids in the back. Uh, we hand out American flags that say Exchange Club, on, Exchange Club of Scotts Valley on them, and you'll see thousands of people lining our, uh, our, our main street, uh, Scotts Valley Drive. Um, we're a small town, about 11,000 people, so we shut down the street, and it's, it's really amazing to see everyone want a little flag to wave and show their Americanism, so that's a great event. We have a blue and gold event as well that uh, we've decided to use to honor our police and firefighter of the year. So uh, we get a lot of support from our communities to help fund the event so that the police and firefighters don't have to pay the active duty. Um, and it's a great event. The third one that I'd like to highlight is uh, every year we have a Christmas tree lighting event. And the Exchange Club was asked uh, right after COVID to take that on. It requires a lot of coordination. We have to have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus be delivered on a fire truck. We have, uh, it's, it's a great event because we give away free pictures. We have a long line of uh, families, especially with little kids. And we give away free pictures. Uh, the Family Project is our photographer and they actually donate pictures to kids in general, uh, kids that are homeless, foster, um, maybe have some disfigurements. They uh, take the profits they use from paid events and support the nonprofits. We love partnering with those folks, um, but it's a great event to honor, uh, you know, the spirit of Christmas, right, and uh, have a great time. We also have the students come out and sing um, on stage, and so we had one of our students get 11,000 views uh, singing at last uh, by Aretha Franklin. So it's a great event. Um, you know, looking forward, uh, you know, we are experimenting working with other organizations in town, uh, Chamber of Commerce and the theater, for example, and uh, Scotts Valley Historical Society are honoring a local resident, Alfred Hitchcock. So we decided with the library opening, I'm sorry, the theater opening next to the library after 10 years converting it from a roller skating rink, that this would be a great fundraiser. So every year, the Exchange Club working with the Theater Guild and the Scott, Scotts Valley Historical Society uh, put on an event to help them 
and it helps us from a community service perspective fund things that uh, for theaters that make a difference. My son's in a, a, a drama kid and uh, you, you'll see him light up on the stage. So we think it's a great opportunity to have connected communities and anyone that would like to make a difference, please let me know if you're in the area. We'd be happy to invite you to some events or you can join us in uh, making things happen. This is my first one, so um, you know I'm learning a lot. We have a ribbon that I'm wearing that uh, tells people I'm a first timer. And it's been great to see the reception all around. We've got people from Tennessee, Louisiana, Texas, and uh, we're all exchangeites. So today, as uh, you see a lot of red, white, and blue. Um, I've got mine on as well. Um, but it's a great event, 500 people. You know, when you listen to someone um, like our recent uh, lunch speaker, I think it was Douglas, um, uh, he was talking about his experiences. Uh, it's amazing when the whole room becomes silent. And we're all impacted the same way when you can relate to something like that. So I'm really glad I came in person uh, to make the connections with other people. Cop hope we can cut, cut and paste the best practices, but also learn a lot and take it back to my club. I'm William Gardner. I'm from Canton, Stark County Exchange Club out of Ohio, um, Region 7. I'm also the uh, president of our club, and I'm also the district director of Division 5. This is our first conference. Uh, also, during our Summit 7, me and my wife got married at it in November 3rd. So we said that we would go to the co convention as our honeymoon <laughs> and spend some time here and enjoy the um, St. Adamo, Texas as our, as our honeymoon. So we're having a great time and uh, can't wait till next year's conference. It's gonna be closer to home. <laughs> uh, I like it, you know, uh, I'm here to learn more to help our club better and take back ideas and meet other exchange nights, you know, so.